Hey there YouTube, looks like we uh, got a little ice on the window, windshield there this morning. Uh, temperature, 21 degrees. That's, uh, I believe, four, four degrees warmer than yesterday morning. Our uh, beginning mileage, 2-3. Six nine nine two three six nine nine. I hope you can see that. Well, we got the old uh, six fifty GS warming up here. It, it started. I. I actually stuck a light bulb under the engine and a towel over it, so I had it warmed up. I checked my voltage this morning. The battery was fully charged when I parked it, and sitting overnight, I uh, had 12.8. So I'm hoping that this battery is uh, actually, you know, several years old. So I'm hoping that it's it's okay, but if it isn't, I, uh, I'll get it changed so I don't get out, uh, stranded out on the side of the road somewhere. <laughs> well, here in Utah, the big breaking news for the last couple of days is that we have two cases of the measles. Anyway, these two uh, kids, they, they uh, contracted measles. And, uh, they believe that they contracted it while uh, visiting Disneyland in California. And then they came back to Utah and they visited, like went to a mall and uh, visited several stores or whatever. So they've been uh, tracing the area. Uh, the, the, where they had been following their trail and uh, notifying people to, to beware and watch out for the symptoms of measles. Now through the immunization program, uh, I think they, you know, for years and years and years, since I was a kid, they, uh, a student has to be immunized for school. Okay, apparently these, these children were, had not been immunized. Uh, not now, and that may be the case. I know there's, uh, there's quite a community of people that homeschool. And, and I have nothing against homeschooling. And in fact, my take on that is, if you feel that are you that you are smart enough, and if you feel that you have the time and the resources, and and you uh, and that's what you want to do, then, then I say go for it. The only thing that those kids are going to lack on is uh, social skills. Because, uh, face it, you've got, the only way you can learn how to deal with people is to deal with people. I mean, you know, there's uh, users and abusers, you know, every everybody in their class, they had the class bully. He used to go around and uh, slug people in the arm. And, uh, and that guy, he, he remained the class bully until... Some little guy finally got pissed off, and cracked him in the side of the jaw and put him in his place, and then he quit being the bully. That's just how people uh, learn to get along, you know, and you, you've got to learn uh, how, to, uh, how to work with people. People like to be treated nice, you know, and, and uh, it, it might take you a long time before you learn that, that you've you got to give, if you want to get something from someone else, you, you've got to... Uh, maybe give them a few warm fuzzies first 
they at least need to to feel that uh, that you think well of them and that uh, that you're a good person and you're not going to screw them over and, and whatever and then they'll open up to you and be nice you know so but it takes uh it's hard especially when you're young with the peer group pressure you know you got all the cool kids that their parents buy them all the cool shit you know and and uh some of them maybe do the homework for them <laughs> Uh, but, but anyway, uh, not to ramble on too bad. The the uh, some people do not believe in immunizations, but but I do. I think that they're backed up by science. They're backed up by the fact that we have not there has not been a case of measles in the United States for 30 years. And so anyway, bingo. Here we finally we finally have uh, a couple and. By chance, uh, they had not been immunized, you know? Duh! So, anyway, if you have a different opinion than me, guess what? That's just fine. <laughs> but I, uh, before I uh, hop on the freeway here, I'm just going to finish my little uh, thought. One thing about the public schools is uh, what they teach you is, other than the social skills that you may learn on your own while you're there, is they teach you how to take tests. Okay, if you can't take a multiple uh, multiple choice test, uh, if uh, you know A, B, C, D, E, none of the above, uh, you you can't uh, you will not do well. Okay, I have uh, two sons, and, and they're both very smart, they're both intelligent, they both have done really well. Okay, my younger son, Chris, he can take multiple choice tests and ace them every time because he just flat don't worry, he don't give a shit. And uh, my other son, James, he'll, uh, if he has an assignment that's due in a month, he'll start on it that day. And he'll work on it every day, and he'll work, 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 work. Yeah. Chris will leave it to the last minute and go take it and ace it. So people are all different, but I'll tell you uh, my thought on that. On hiring people, I would never hire a person that was a straight A student. Because on, my take on that is that all they've ever learned how to do is how to brown nose the teacher, and how to regurgitate back everything that the, exactly the way the teacher wants to receive it. And they've never uh, learned how to do critical thinking. Now critical thinking comes from failure. When you fail, when you fail terribly and you're right down there on your knees and uh, you don't know what the hell you're going to do, that's, that's when the critical thinking comes in. And if you're able to learn how to work through that, develop a plan, go for it, work hard, and develop a solution. Now that is, uh, that's the guy that I want to hire. I don't want the straight A person. I want one that's been knocked on his ass and has jumped up and said, hey, I can beat this. I can do it. So anyway, that, that's my take today. Now I'm going to go ride. Okay, people, I've, uh, I've traveled about 25 miles north on the I-15 uh, freeway, and I've just gone over uh, a little pass, uh, Santa Quinn Hill, they call it, and dropped into the next valley. I'm just dropping down into uh, the Utah Valley, Utah County. And as you can, I don't, you can't, I don't know if you can tell or not, but about a third of the way down the mountain there, from there down is like just uh, fog, smog. Uh, looking straight north there, it has more of an orange color up towards Salt Lake City. But anyway, that, that stuff down there, that'll be so thick you can't cut it with a knife. We're not even, we're not going to go that way. We're, we're turning, this is our turnaround point. We're going to go back home. But anyway, we're, uh, I'm thankful that we have that big uh, Mount Nebo north of us. It holds all that air up to the north here uh, so that we don't get the uh, smog, we don't get the inversion. Uh, this morning they listed that they have mandatory, mandatory, uh, Mandatory no burn day. It's the the air quality is so terrible that it's it's against a lot of burn wood or coal on 
on these days and, and it's it's ugly what happens the see we have the high pressure has moved in and it's warmed up and it causes the snow and stuff to uh, melt and evaporate uh, uh, and give off water moisture and, and anyway the uh, along with the cold the, the high pressure holds that cold air and the moisture right against the ground and it's just like a big old smog cloud so anyway I'm gonna just whip around on the freeway here and head back uh, head back home head to back home way it's much nicer down there <coughs> well this is the only little piece of uh, ice left on the road right here it's in total shade I brought the back up here last night try to scrape it off but it's froze on there. I'm a, I was thinking maybe I could throw a little rock salt on it uh, sometime, you know, in the middle of the day when it's warm and uh, before the next storm. Maybe get that melted off. It's all right with these. Uh, TKC 80s, no problem, but you know, I melt that off. I could take the big beamer up there, you know. Well, I could make it through that little pass anyway, but just to be safe, you know. Well, we still got frost on the window there. Let's see. Okay, ending mileage. Two three seven five one. Two three seven five one. Doctor Dual Sport out.